Now it's time to talk about another topic that has been making the rounds on social media today. Catherine, it's confirmed that she is not going to uh, the Airshot Prize on November. And there's a very good reason for this. I'm going to switch to here. Uh, no, this is not. I'm going to switch to here, to Canel. Canel's words are very good to summarize why Catherine is not going to the Airshot Prize. It has been confirmed that Catherine, Princess of Wales, will not be attending Airshot with Prince William in Singapore as Prince George has exams that week and she wants to be home to support him. A very important exams. Uh, I think they are about, mm, uh, about getting into Eton. I understand. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but they, these are not regular exams. They are very important exams. Uh, Prince George is 10 and therefore should be gearing to take the entry exams for his applications to a college prep school starting this year. Good luck to the future king. So it was going to be, I think this is a matter of priorities. I'm, I have to, I have to tell you that we have to remember those amazing pictures from Chris Jackson, I believe, uh, from, uh, other years were was were amazing. I analyzed this picture, had a great um, time analyzing this picture. Were beautiful moments, beautiful photos. But there is a good reason. I'm going to mention, by the way, I'm going to mention that uh, Tim Cook, CEO of Apple, perhaps uh, we could say that is um, one of the, if not the, most successful tech company in the world, taking over everything. No, really, um, uh, I, I'm a fan of uh, Apple products. I have to say that. I, I cannot deny it. Visited the Prince and Princess of Wales to talk about these topics, to talk about the topics of uh, Airshot Price, to talk about, and I have it right here, to talk about. We had a wonderful and wide-ranging discussion about the environment, mental health, and other issues that mean a great deal to all of us. If you watch... Apple's latest uh, conference when they unveiled the latest iPhone and the um, latest Apple Watch. They they were doing this sketch with, uh, by the way, with, um, I forgot her last name, Olivia Wright. Um, was was a was a rather silly sketch, but they were talking about Mother Nature, but it was right on point. It, it, it would not be a stretch that... Uh, Apple collaborated with the Airshot Prize at some point because it's like they, they share these common goals. It's important. I always said, I made this distinction. It's important to talk about the environment. It's important to talk about uh, preserving our planet. But my complaints have always been when some governments use this as a stepping stone to control people. You know that I have that. <laughs> that, that is something that I just don't like. I value freedom over almost everything else. And you know that I sometimes clash with this kind of topics. But in this case, uh, I think this is the right, this is the right way, especially when we're talking about tech and technology that can help people for mental health. I'm using, for example, technology to monitor my sleep, to monitor my my breathing exercises. That has helped a lot with my mental health. So this is also this is also part of that initiative. But I want to go back to the fact that Catherine is not going to the Earthshot Prize. And people are saying, you know, this is the Catherine paradox. This is the Catherine paradox, or I call it the Catherine paradox. If Catherine goes to the Earthshot Prize, then people are going to, the journalists are going to be talking about how, oh, oh, what she's wearing, she's still in the show, such and such. And then people are going to say, hey, you should be talking about the Earthshot Prize and the finalists. And by the way, since I know, since I know that William doesn't like that, he doesn't like that. Uh, people talking about what they are wearing and stuff and all, all that and, and body language and all that talking about Megan. I, I will be talking about the Airshot Prize when this this little videos, this little videos I'm going to explain as soon as I finish with this topic. I'm going to explain um, the this next stage of the Royal Row for this upcoming months. Um, it's like 
you have this paradox. If she doesn't go, then oh, she's not going, so she's not going to bring enough awareness to the Urshad Prize. And I think that is a failure of thinking. Uh, I think it's a, or, or, or a, how, yeah, like a failure of thinking. Because I think Prince William has enough, or more than enough, star power by himself to do this. Yes, Catherine is a very popular royal, and sometimes she has been at the top of the most popular royals, even more popular than, uh, than William. That's a fact. But like in everything that we say, we were talking about the other day that royals had to, to some extent, to, separ to, to be able to work well separated, right? That's, that's something that, that should, should work fine. Either William or Catherine or King Charles or Queen Camilla, the, the, the heavyweights, the fab four, so to speak, should be able to shine each of them, each one of them in their own light. Why not? And when they go together, wait, well, everything will be much better. That, that's my point of view. And that's why this is my personal opinion. Maybe it's a good thing that Catherine is not going. In this case, she is setting up priorities. Okay, she, we're talking about priorities. And family, something that has been under heavy attack lately from all fronts. In all fronts, family. The single most important cell of civilization has been under attack. And I'm not going to send myself in there. That's a topic for another channel. I have that other channel, but not for the Royal Road. But you know that family is under attack. And I think it's a great message, by the way, that Catherine says that George, having this challenge ahead, even at 10 years old, having this challenge ahead, she should be there to support him in this moment. And of course, William could be there too, but he is in charge of the Airship Prize, so we have to like split so we can work together. It's like working together, but each one of them in having these priorities. That, that is so hard, so hard to do, especially, of course, one thing is being in the royal family. I'm not going to fool myself. One thing is being in the royal family, and one thing is, is going to be in uh, the average household. Everyone has uh, duties, chores. We are. I, I'm super busy uh, these days as well. For example, that's that's just one one thing that we could say about that. But it's a precedent and a very good precedent that Catherine is. I'm going to say she's not going to attend because I did not like. And I'm going to talk about GB News in a minute. I did not like GB News say that, saying that Catherine snubbed William and snubbed the Earthshot Prize because she was going to stay at home with George. That, that is just plain wrong. And yes, I should have only a, a, a dedicated channel to talk about GB News. And I'm going to take a, talk about GB News in a second. So my opinion, my opinion is that this is, this, the reason why Catherine is not going to the Urshad Prize is enough to say that, well, it, it is worth it. It is worth it that she's staying at, at home, she's supporting George, and that is a great message to all families out there, to every single family, to every single parent. We should be always supporting our children and be talking to them, be understanding that no matter, no matter their age, they're always going through challenges. No matter the distance in generations, they're going through their own struggles. And, well, better message than that, I cannot imagine. I'm going to, I'm going to switch gear, gears uh, right now and talk about that 